Hi Legends, welcome to another update. Today I thought I'd share a private Discord community I did this morning. Quite nice volatility from the price of Bitcoin where we found lower levels. In this update I'll share my Bitcoin analysis and also jump through a couple of altcoins to see are we still healthy for momentum to the upside or can we still expect further momentum yet to the downside. Also remember the three exchanges that I use to do my daily trading on Bybit, Bloffin and Mexi down in the description of this video. By using these links down in the description you qualify for the biggest bonuses and lowest fees. Go sign up, come trade with me, let's go and analyze the price of Bitcoin yet together. Good morning legends. Hope you all had a fantastic Thursday. Nice volatility yesterday. Let's see what happens today, Friday. Usually um, I think we're going to range a little bit today and then during the night time when the market starts closing, that's usually when we see the volatility um, for Bitcoin just before the weekend close. So let's see what happens. Um, let's analyze the chart here together. I haven't done any analysis yet, so let's start analyzing here together. So first thing I want to just check is, okay, we bounced here on the 50% FIB level, which is great. Okay. So if we are speculating on a one, two, uh, three, four, and still a five to come and claim this high, we have bounced at the right place so far. Okay. So good bounce over here. And um, now we just have to observe and see how price reaction reacts more locally. So I just want to zoom in here to the local structure. Uh, let me do this. Legends, the one thing I have noticed, if I go on to the 15 minute, okay, or well, the one thing I'm noticing right now, okay, do you guys remember when I spoke about the range low strategy over here, okay? What you want to see is you want to see price tap this level, okay, the range low strategy and move away. And it failed to move away. It tapped it for a second time and then we fold the gap. Like, a, you know, like I mentioned so many times, you fold the gap. And quite interestingly, it looks like the exact same scenario is playing out here. Can you guys see that we have now, if I take this line, we now have a new range low strategy over here, okay? which we've tapped to perfection, okay? This is how the range low, it works both to the up and to the downside. Let me just snap it on with a magnet so I can get it exact. Okay, there we go. Right, so we tapped it. So theoretically, what you wanna see happen right now is that we now have a range high strategy, okay? So this is now a range high strategy. And what you wanna see is we've tapped it, okay? Now price needs to move away. Price needs to move away. If price comes back down here and tap it, for a second time, you then increase the probability of filling this gap. Okay, you see it plays both ways, right? Where we could break the trend and go and claim this high over here. So we just need to now observe what's going to happen locally with this price action. So from a range high perspective at the moment is you would want to see price move away. But I am seeing some bullish CVD building up here already. I'm seeing some bullish CVD building up. So let's see how this plays out. Um, I think also something that I'm watching over here is that when I take, let me just zoom into the structure over here. Okay. If this is A, B, C here to the downside, you take a FIB extension from the top to A. It's a three-way structure. A is usually a three-way structure. A, so one, two, three, A, B, C. B can be a complex structure. Okay, so if this is the A, B, C, you guys can then see that, um, we didn't tap the 0 0.618 just as yet, but I mean, it's not a um, a minimum or it has to be a requirement for a third wave here to the upside. So if this is an A, B, okay, this is the B wave, and this is the start of the C wave, okay, then you, you uh, C waves usually has five wave structures inside of it, where you have one, two, three, and this is potentially the fourth wave forming here, four, five where you claim the liquidity and you get acceptance back above this low so this is something that i will definitely be watching perhaps an sfp from these lows over here okay so from a long setup perspective i will be patiently waiting i mean this would be a golden ticket where you tap the 0 0.618 you've made five ways one two three four five and you could expect the structure to start reversing again breaking the strain for potentially coming to claim this high over here Okay, I hope this makes sense, Legends. I know Elliott Wave Theory is not always easy. There are many scenarios, um, but it's kind of what I'm seeing here in the structure at the moment is that if this corrective structure is finished and this is the low, it kind of doesn't make sense because I only see three waves. I only see one, two, 
three. Okay, if this is a a b. Okay, where's the where's the fourth? We still need a, a, the fourth that's for forming now, and we need the fifth to the downside. Okay, if it is not a c wave here to the downside, and perhaps a more complex structure like a w x y. Um, then uh, there's a chance that we can turn around without claiming the low over here okay nothing is ever easy in trading um, but from an invalidation perspective I think what I would then look at is to say that um, okay if this is one two three okay the fourth wave is not allowed to tap the 0 0.618 so we'll do this okay and this has confluence with the range um, a high strategy over here as well is to say that if the fourth wave finds strength here to come and tap this level again you increase the probability of filling the gap you are most likely going to tap the 0 0.618 which invalidates a fourth wave and we can expect higher momentum which then means that this corrective is or this corrective structure is finished and it's not an abc maybe perhaps a wxy that's still going to form here a larger wxy where you will be looking at something like w x y okay where we're just going to range for a whole lot longer and um w x i mean the x wave doesn't even have to take the high the x wave can also reject over here where we still have a daily and a, a point of control okay i have some alarms going off here okay it looks like it looked like egld wanted to break out i wasn't convinced yet i didn't take that trade anyways let's carry on here um so basically legends what i'm trying to get at is we're not out the woods just as yet okay for upwards momentum i think a lot of people bought this dip you can just see it from the wicks there's a lot of buying pressure inside here pushing the price up okay um but i mean it would be nice to have another sweep of the low right where you make the final and fifth wave here to the downside um i would like it to be the same length as this wave over here okay one two um, and Elliott Wave Theory states that if this is the fourth wave, you want to at least see a one-to-one -one ratio. So the, the correction needs to be at least the same length as one, but I mean, it's not guaranteed. Okay, but basically what I'm trying to get at is, let's see if we can get another sweep of the lows. That would be very bullish. If we can get acceptance back above this low once we claim it, I think it's game on. I really think it's game on. Or if we tap this level again without claiming the lows, then it's most likely game on again, especially if you tap the 0 0.618, which then means that this low is protected for now, and we could find higher levels and break out successfully. Okay, and then obviously we just need to observe the, the levels as we um, go to higher levels. If the bullish scenario plays out, I uh, just want to switch on my daily levels. Okay, Oof. you can also see how beautifully we SFP'd from this daily level over here. Okay, untapped daily level which is now tapped that's exactly where we found support and i mean from a bullish perspective if we don't claim this low um, again and we find strength and we tap this line again increasing the probabilities of filling this gap and tapping the 0 0.618 there's a chance but i will definitely be interested in this area from a rejection perspective making people extremely bullish here to the upside only to sfp and come back down right where you then have a w x y corrective structure a more complex structure and they do play out very often here on the price of bitcoin so it's not guaranteed because i can see from the buying pressure over here people are just expecting this okay and i'm not ruling out the scenario just as yet right legends kind of a, a higher overview that i'm giving you guys over here let's just check here at session volume profile i want to see what's cooking what is cooking with the session volume profile uh, we already tapped this point of control um, kind of in the middle middle we bounced on the value area low and um, mm -hmm, didn't tap this value area low but i don't really see anything from a session volume profile except for this naked point of control over here okay this one we we tapped this naked point of control also sfp from this naked point of control um, and the daily level over here so not much that i'm seeing here from a session volume profile perspective perhaps if we do get acceptance back above this point of control okay and we tap this level i mean yeah i think then we can expect a nice little breakout here to the upside okay legends that's basically what i see here on the price of bitcoin for now i do see some of the altcoins had some nice bounces if i look at eth 
beautiful oh, beautiful week i mean nasty week here to the downside stopping out all the high leverage players liquidating their positions um but it's still consolidating it's still um i'm still seeing a bullish consolidation over here okay it still looks healthy it still looks like it can go um egld like i've um, like i've mentioned has taken the low it has sfp'd from the low okay um, I have spoken about this one before where I said oh, I wanted to, us to bounce here on the 618 and then maximum target 786 and then obviously with a crash of Bitcoin it just drove it lower but we had a beautiful SFP from this low over here so perhaps this is the low for now for EJLD and this is why I'm tracking this momentum I want to see if we're going to have a successful breakout here to the upside um, and yeah legends there are many more ILV one of the favorites I've just added to my position my Mexi position I have added to my mixing position it has brought my entry quite high but i can still protect my position so if we do fall down here i still get stopped out in profits okay but i'm still expecting some upwards momentum here um but i'm not gonna lie legends i mean this kind of looks diamond patterny if if that's even a word it, it it looks like a reversal pattern where we could find a deeper correction but i mean i've also just seen these patterns not play out i mean they have like a 51 55 percent chance of playing out so they're not very accurate okay where we could still expect upwards momentum right i'm not going to jump through all the altcoins now legends the video is getting quite long already so enjoy the day as always questions in discord until the next one cheers for now